Hey, good morning. How's everybody today? Good. good. We're going to talk about nutrition today. Do you have an idea what nutrition is? Who does? The teacher introduces the lesson what do you think, and Reverend? explains the importance of the subject matter. Does anybody else have an idea? She describes nutrition? what activities will be part of the lesson food, and states the right. learning objective. Food and healthy food. And we are going to learn this because in our state standard, it says that at your grade, you have to know the nutritional values of food. So that's why we're going to learn this today. And before you leave today, you're going to know which food is in which group, which foods you should eat the most of and the least of, and which snack is better for you. Now look at your paper on your desk. You have a food pyramid. What's at the very top? Can you tell what that is up there at the very top? It's sweets and fats. If you eat lots of sweets and fats, you will get bigger and bigger and you won't have as much energy. So that's why it's up at the top in that little teeny point up there. After that, find the dairy. There should be a picture of milk, cheese, yogurt. The teacher presents the main concept with a question and answer session. A hands-on example of a food group helps students understand the topic. The biggest food group that we need to eat from is the grains group. But you might not know what grains are. They come from plants. They're almost like little seeds in plants. And then they're crushed up very, very fine till they turn into like a powder. Have any of you had anything that your mother's used flour to make? OK, bread, cakes, pies. Flour is a grain. Grains start out with like little seeds from plants. And this one is, what is this? Who knows what I have here? Oats. How many of you have eaten oats before? Okay. And I'm going to give you each some little pieces of these oats so you can take a look at them. <whistles> Spread those around and look. The next activity emphasizes the recommended daily servings of a food group, both verbally and with a hands-on exercise, coloring a chart. How many servings should you have of vegetables? Raise your hand if you can tell me. And Hannah, how many servings of vegetables are we supposed to have? Three. Three. To so five. three to five. So let's color in three boxes for vegetables. The next activity shows examples of what foods belong to each food group using cutout pictures of familiar foods. All right, I gave each of you a food. We're going to tape your foods on the right spot on the food pyramid. So let's start with the bottom here, grains. If you think you have a grain, stand up and hold up your picture. A grain would be cereal, bread, macaroni, spaghetti, noodles. If you think you have a grain, stand up. Hey, Fabian, come on up here. Devariel, come on up here. Hannah, come on up here. And let's take a look. Everybody hold it so everybody can see what you got. All right, everybody, what do you think? Is a bagel, is that a, a bread, a grain? Yes. yes. Good. Hannah, go tape it up there on the board. Fabian has cereal. Is a cereal a grain? Yeah. Okay, go tape that up there. The school nutritionist discusses healthy school meals and proper choices for lunch with the students. And now we are going to have our school nutritionist, Ms. Wilma, tell you what you're eating when you eat food in the cafeteria, what food groups it comes from and what it does for you. Ms. Wilma, come on in and bring your little show and tell here. Hello. Hi. I'm Ms. Wilma from the cafeteria. And this looks familiar to everybody, right? Yeah. Yes. See everything on here. Okay. I'm going to explain to you what um, is it, what, what you need to eat every, uh, on a daily basis. And this right here is a full lunch. How many of you pick a full complete lunch every day? Getting your vegetables. The teacher discusses better snack selections with the children. Okay. Now, we didn't talk much about what you eat when you have a choice. When it's time for a snack, you need to think of all these things you've learned today and decide what would be the better snack. And we're going to think about potato chips or carrots. Okay, take a look at this chart. 
Which one has the most things in it? And what are all these things with the funny names? Anybody know what those are? They're vitamins and minerals. Can you say vitamins? Vitamins. Vitamins. Do you think you need vitamins every day? Minerals. Yes. Because yes. vitamins is what your body needs, and the vitamins are in all of these things. And this the next exercise checks the children's ability to select nutritious foods for a meal. I'm going to give you a snack. Which snack do you think I'm going to give you? Chips or a carrot? Carrot. 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 All right. When we're done here, I'm going to have each of you come up, and I'll give you a carrot. And you're going to take a tray. And you're going to make your own healthy meal. Think of everything, your grains, your fruits, your vegetables, meats, dairies. We probably aren't even going to put a sweet in there today. So you're going to make a meal. The lesson concludes by assigning a family home activity. And then if you finish all that today, for homework, you're going to take a little chart where I want you to write down everything you ate today. Okay, if we have time in Ms. Bingaman's class before we leave, start to write it down, everything you ate. And then take a look and we'll see how you're doing. We'll see if you're getting all those servings of grains, fruits, vegetables, meat and dairy that you need.